everybody how's everybody been doing i am off work now um i've been doing well so well um so glad to see you guys i haven't made a video in a while so i'm going to get back to doing my videos i know you guys want to know about my health eating i'm gonna talk about that on another video but this morning i want to talk about um what did I want to talk about? I don't know why every time I get ready to make a video, my thoughts just escape my brain for some reason. Oh, before I do get started on this video, this is one thing I do want to say, y'all. And I'm serious about this right here. If you live in a day, and I was saying this to somebody um just uh, last night. If you if you alive today, if you living today, you're a human being, and you got your right mind. I mean, you able to make good sound decisions. Uh, you don't flip off at the drop of a hat. Somebody step on your toe, and you don't think to go home and invent a bomb and throw it through their window because they stepped on your toe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't do stuff like that. You able to, you know, say, you know, okay, they stepped on my toe. They didn't say excuse me or nothing. I'm gonna let it go. You know what I'm saying? You a person that make, you know, don't, you know, want to kill somebody because of stuff like that or. You just a sound person. If you just a sound person and you got your right mind, you're able to think, make good decisions. You know, one plus one is still two. You know what I'm saying? If you able to do things like that, you need to take a moment and tell God thank you. I'm serious. I am so serious because people are getting off on exits, baby. And I don't mean to exit to McDonald's either. I mean the exit to never to return to my right frame of mind. Yes. So if you're in your right frame of mind, you need to tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm, I'm in my right mind. I'm able to think. I'm able to process information. I'm able to process events. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, we live in a day and time. People just ain't in their right frame of mind. You can't tell me they is. Because when you can kill, have seven babies, kill seven babies, put them in a shoebox in the back, in, in your um garage, then bake cookies for everybody and babysit for everybody, and, you know, go and live your life after you done kill seven babies you done had, and all is well, and your land... Something wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. There is so much going on. I'm telling you, let's pray for the mind, for the for the well-being of people's mind. Amen. I'm saying pray for mine too. Pray for mine too, hon. I'm not saying I'm sitting here thinking, um, well, you won't always have your right mind. No, baby, the devil after my mind, the devil is after my mind every day and after your mind every day. We thank God for the grace of God who keeps us, amen, in our right mind. Because if it wasn't for him, baby, I might exit too. Because stuff happens every day to make you want to exit. But thank God that I'm in my right mind. I give him all praise for it. And you better thank him too, amen. So uh, anyway, I want to just come on and make this a quick video. The title of this video is I Don't Want to Hear Beyonce. And I know there's a lot of Beyonce fans, even people in the church is Beyonce fans. I ain't never talked to Beyonce, honey. She probably never know who I am. But um, I've seen Beyonce. I've seen her perform, seen her sing on TV. I don't mean I, I ain't never been to a concert or nothing like that. I got saved before I was able to go to a concert. But I know one thing. If I was able, child, I would have been right up on the front row. But um, anyway, um, they she got this song called... God, Lee, what is this song? Dangerously in love? Drunk? No, drunk in love. Drunken in love? Or drunk in love? Drunken in love? Something like that. Anyway, Lord, the church folk. Mm -mm -mm. The church folk. I watched a video where the people acquire somebody. Church folk took her song, Drunken in Love or Dangerously in Love. 
one of them, it start with a D, I think. I think it's I'm drinking in love or I'm drinking in love. The church folk took her song and flipped it and made a church song out of it. And a lot of folk, they don't see nothing wrong with that. But I'm telling you, there is something wrong with it. Why do we have to always take what the world do and we try to flip it? Why don't we just get some? Why don't we just get something from God, from Holy Spirit? Why don't we just get something from out of here? Why do we always have to go and try to flip something that the world do? God don't want us flipping nothing. He don't want us to take something that the world has and try to make it to adjust to fit us. I just don't believe he's pleased with that. He's not. Most of the time when God sent the people in, the children of Israel in to take over, he would tell them, don't get nothing. We don't need nothing they got. They jewelry, they gold, and nothing. Don't take nothing they got. But we, saved folk, we will take stuff from the so-called world and then try to flip it and make it to be holy. And you can't take unholy things and make them holy. I don't care who put their stamp of approval on it. And it's just sickening and disgusting. I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it. There is a sound. There is a, a worship, a true worshiper. Worship supposed to invoke the presence of God. Maybe invoke is not a good word, but invite. The presence of God. Worship invites the presence of God to come in. Amen. When you hear songs like that, uh, that drunken love song, and they try to flip it and say we drunk in love with Jesus. I, I, I just don't see the worship in that. I don't. Praise and worship is to invite the presence of God. Now, when you hear that, you're going to hear Beyonce. And I'm going to tell you, we live in a day and time now. We don't need to hear Beyonce. Not when we come to the house of God. Not when we're talking about worship. We need to hear God. I need the Holy Spirit to come in this situation. Amen. Because some of us are going through some things that we need God. We don't need Beyonce. I don't want to hear Beyonce. I want the presence of God to come in and change. There is a sound that we can produce that will destroy and break the strongholds of the devil. Amen. Now to flip that song and make it, you know, try to make it a Christian song, that, that ain't break, broke no strongholds, baby. All people left saying was, oh, that was nice. Oh, that song sounded good. No, we need the presence of Holy Spirit to come in through a worship song, through a different sound that we hear in the Spirit, so we can break chains, so that we can get rid of this devil that's chasing us, so we can loose bondages over our lives. That's We need the Holy Spirit. We need to invite him in. Amen. Beyonce need him. We all need him. People, and I'm telling you now, People come in the service because they need God. They need to see God. They just left the club Saturday night, baby. They already heard Beyonce. Why are you going to bring her to the house of God? I mean, that her music, we don't need her music. We need a sound from God. We need a worship from God. Holy Spirit can give us a song. If he can give David a song, he can give us a song. And sometimes out of our yes... Out of our, I'm going to tell you, that's another thing too. You can't say yes and hallelujah too many times without something happening. You can go into your own worship. God will put, uh, uh, download a song on the inside of you that will break strongholds. And you'll come out saying, yes, God. Yes, Lord, I need to seek the face of God. Yes, there are some songs the Holy Spirit will put down in us that we will, we will say, God, forgive me. It will cause us to repent. Not cause us to think about being drunk and in love. No. I'm going to tell you now, it's not of God. Stop taking these so-called songs. You're going to try to flip. And Lord, somebody come and say, this is the redemptive power work of God. What? For real? No, honey. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And I'm not saying the folks ain't say they may be saved, but you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost, baby. Amen. There is a difference. 
out of town. I tell you, now, say, folk, we can't help but keep living on the edge. Well, we can do this, but can we do this, or can we do that? Well, it's all right to do a little bit of this, and it's all right to do a little bit of that. The Bible said, come out from among them, baby. Come out from among them. Stop living on the edge. We always want to dibble and dab just a little bit. Come on out and be ye separated, said the Lord. Amen. Come out. People don't leave. I'm take. I didn't leave when I was in the club. I didn't leave club on Saturday night so I can come and and hear uh, more of the clubs, the, the mixture of the club in the church. When we gonna get sanctified? When we gonna get set apart for to be used by God? Come on now, church. Let Beyonce do what she do. Amen. Let her do what she do. But when it comes to the people of God, we are used by God. We are all, we want to be we want to offer him up worship so that he can come in and do what needs to be done in the lives of individuals. Individuals. Amen. Stop trying to live on the edge and stop trying to dab in this and well, just a little bit of that now. We we can we can switch it and make a no. Let God give you a sound that's going to destroy yokes. Amen. That's going to destroy yokes. Come out the club. Come out from living on the edge. Be holy. Be separated. We are peculiar people. Amen. We don't need to remix nothing. God got a fresh word. God got a fresh anointing. Amen. We don't need their beats. We don't need their lyrics. No, no. We don't. God got a right now word. That's quick and powerful and sharp, baby. Amen. 